Hey guys, welcome back. BDCKR here, and today we're back with another video. We'll be doing the challenge reset for Injustice Mobile Android. If you're already resetting the challenge without any problems, then you don't need to watch this video. It still works, and it's still a great way for farming power credits, and it is still meant for the current challenge not to bring back old expired challenges. It is still for Android, as we've said, and we still have never had any accounts suspended for this, so as far as we know, it's still completely safe. Right, we've had tutorials for this for up for a while, but it seems like the same questions keep popping up, and newer players are having trouble finding the instructions because they're searching using the name of the latest challenge character, or maybe they get confused when they see it done on an older challenge. Yeah, so we're doing this again with the current Rebirth Raven challenge. So after the demonstration, we'll get into some possible solutions if you can't get it to work, and we'll talk a little bit about the reasons for resetting the challenge. So you can see here that we've completed the challenge at Nightmare Difficulty, which means we shouldn't be able to play anymore for copies of the challenge character. Okay, so the first step is going to be to start Injustice from a clean start, which means close it by swiping it out of your list and starting it up again from scratch. And so just a bit of talk about what the point is of doing this challenge reset. The reason why it's so good for power credit farming is that the value of the prizes for completing each ladder in the challenge plus the challenge character itself when you finish a difficulty level. So not only do you save on the cost of promoting the character, which are getting more and more expensive with the power creep, but even if your challenge character is fully Elite 7... Or even Elite 10. Oh yeah, absolutely right. Uh, you can sell it back for a good amount of power credits. Yeah. The next best place to grind for credits is Bonus Battle 6, but the challenge is easier to do at the normal difficulty level and you can use lower level characters to complete it so you don't have to manage your power the same way, your energy the same way. Yeah, say. but grinding for levels isn't that efficient. The challenge is pretty awful for XP, so you need to take that into consideration too when choosing where to grind. Yeah. And even though we're resetting it from after completing Nightmare, you can reset it from any point, any amount of progress. Right, yeah. So you can do it from uh, after finishing normal difficulty, if that's all you can manage, reset it. And then farm normal difficulty over and over again. In fact, that's probably easiest. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, if you're so new that you can't even complete normal difficulty, then reset any progress you've made and grind for credits from the fights as well as whatever ladder rewards you can make. So mm -hmm. the key to remember is that this reset works at any point, regardless of how far you've gotten in the challenge. Yeah, so now while we wait for the rest of loading, we'll talk about some steps for people who have been having issues. So, uh, so this is our troubleshoot. Yeah. Tip number one is that the order of the steps really matter. When you're changing the date in either direction, you need to be disconnected from the internet. If you change the date and then disconnected, or you reconnected before changing the date back, you'll have problems. You need to make sure that you're following all the steps and following them in the order we show here. Okay. Number two, timing matters a lot. So when we say we need, you need to wait a certain amount of time, you have to wait that full amount of time. So yeah, one 60 part, seconds. Yeah, one part where 60 seconds is cru crucial. So if you're not sure, wait a little longer. But you really don't need to wait longer than two minutes. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it's finished loading, um, and what we need to do is wait. In this time, it's not the time that matters. It's instead of a specific amount of time, we're going to take a look at the gears and wait for the pictures to populate. Which is faster for faster devices and slower for slower devices, and it seems to work out. So we go back to the main page, we minimize injustice, and we go to our system settings. So you need to disconnect from the internet, airplane mode if you're on data, and turn off Wi-Fi if your d device connects by Wi-Fi. Yeah, and then next we're going to change the date so it's past the scheduled end of the challenge. Uh, and don't go too far, just maybe a day or two. We'll get into the reasons in just a moment. So now go back to Injustice, and this is where you have to wait 60 seconds. Not approximately or almost 60 seconds. You set your watch, you wait the full 60 seconds. Yep. So do not go into the store in this section. If you do, it will mess up the discount gold pack clock, and you will not start getting new discount gold packs until after the time shifted date, which is at this point after the challenge is over. Even if you know this, it is very easy to accidentally do, which is why we strongly recommend not going too far into the future. Barely past the challenge end, like we do, is best. So if you make a mistake, you won't need to wait too long before your discount packs come back. And we've done this hundreds of times. We make mistakes sometimes too. Yeah. Uh, so getting back to the troubleshooting tips. So the third tip is to get a better internet connection. This method does require a good, strong, consistent connection to the WB servers, which means that if the servers are down, this won't work. But it also means that if your Wi-Fi or data is weak or spotty, it also won't work. Okay? Okay, and number four, oh, actually we're, uh, we've waited 60 seconds, and now we get to go back into the challenge. 
And back in the old days, you'd get a pop up giving you some 25 challenge credits. Now it doesn't matter. So don't touch confirm. You go back to your system settings. You change the date back to today, right? You do the date first. Yep. Then you reconnect to the internet. All right, once you reconnected, you go back to Injustice. And there you go. We'll now, see. Well. <laughs> well, in one second we will. Now you can click Confirm once you get back into Injustice. <laughs> Challenge is expired. Voila. All progress has been reset. Yeah. And we're back to standard difficulty. So our last tip for anybody who's having issues, tip number four, is as a last resort, some people have reported that after everything else has failed, they were able to get things working by clearing the cache for injustice or by clearing app data. We don't recommend this unless you use a third-party app to back up your app data because we've heard too many horror stories about people's Warner Brothers server save being corrupted and then losing a huge amount of progress. Now, we personally use Helium. But really, you can use anything as long as it backs up your save and you are confident in its quality. Like, it's not going to also accidentally potentially run into issues. Yeah, so the Warner Brothers server saves don't fail that often, but if they do, it's kind of catastrophic not to have a backup. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, we, we hope this was useful. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Komoda. Komoda.